So we're going to show you some of the features on our latest trailer. The main thing that you notice is there's lots of things that uh, stick up and bolt horizontally, which is the strongest way to attach a tiny house and a trailer with a horizontal bolt system. Uh, these are the stud wall uh, tabs or tie downs that we call uh, so that we know that the stud's going to come here and we bolt it eight spots, uh, four along each long wall. And uh, then these are the floor joist tie downs and they give you a truly insulated floor. You'll notice that, you know, if you imagine a bit of wood here, uh, first of all, a bit of plywood here, uh, that supports the bottom of the insulation, and then your floor joist here, and then your whatever flooring you want on the top, that gives you the cavity in which to put a real, real insulation in your floor, as opposed to having plywood that goes, or flooring that goes right down on the cold bits of your steel, which is what a lot of people do. They put, the, they put their um, uh, flooring right there, their subfloor right there, and then that just creates lots of uh, cold spots in your floor. You don't want that. This is a triaxle trailer, and it's a flat top trailer, so the idea is that you're getting a nice flat surface on which to work. Come on down this way. You got these little pieces of angle iron, and they support the floor, uh, the battery box, or your storage. Because these floor joists are here, you, you basically box it in, and you get... Uh, I think with the triaxle trailer, you get 564 liters of storage under the floor. That's a lot of storage. In this case, we have four, or you could join them together to make two long ones. It uh, doesn't matter. Uh, other features here in this trailer, uh, we stiffen our central hangers. So for those who don't know, this is a, a rocker roller suspension, and um, it allows the load to be distributed evenly uh, as you're going down the road. But what, what's special about our trailer here is that um, we've got a, a central hanger here and a stiffener, and that's what that is. It makes it super strong, and on the triaxle trailer, of course, you have two of them on this side and two on this side. This is called an A-frame part of the trailer, right? You can see it's like an A, and the drawbar is at the end. Now, that piece of steel needs to come all the way back to this front suspension hanger. If you just stop part way and don't come all the way back, it's a quite an inferior design. This is the front suspension hanger. You get these, these nice beautiful vertical welds here and this is the extension for the A-frame. Very important to get this weld right in here. Nice strong vertical weld. Uh, some people don't do it, look out for that one. You know, in a tiny house, to be legally registered or registerable, you have to have outline marker lights. Um, you know what those are. When you're going down the road and you look at the back of a truck and you can see that you, you can basically see the shape of the truck because of the lights. Well, you need to have wire to do that. Well, we just include that as a part of our tiny house trailers, about 10 meters of wire that goes up and over to catch all those lights, both in the front and in the rear. This is the basically the breakaway system, the fail-safe system. If ever the tiny house, if it ever comes loose from your towing vehicle, uh, this is essentially a battery that, that activates your electric brakes. Anyway, we're proud of this trailer. Uh, this one's 7.2 meters long. It, a bit extra wide in the sense that they're gonna move their walls out and not have the veranda systems that I have on my tiny house, but we customize it for um, however you want it. Uh, we do SIP panel tiny house trailers. This is a trailer that's built to uh, an ATM and an aggregate trailer mass of 4.5 ton. So if you want one of these trailers, send us just a, um, something off the website, the contact us form. Um, we'd love to make you one. Uh, have your tiny house dreams come true. Liberate yourself.